morning so not really sure what today has in store i have some plans and things i want to get to but yeah i'm gonna take you along for the ride it's been i feel like months since i've done that so there might be some updating in between some of this um this day that i'm gonna take you through but anyway so my plan today is to do some filming including filming this. As well as get outside, take a cold shower, do some writing and editing and just overall prioritizing in my life in various ways. So I'm gonna take you along for the ride and uh, I hope you enjoy. All right, so really quickly, I just had breakfast. I had uh, peanut butter toast with apple slices on top. And then I had a half a banana with some green powder. I took my pills. I take an algae pill. I take a iron pill. Um, I take a uh, B12. I take a um, vitamin D and gosh, there's something else. Yeah, and some different flower essences that I, that I take. Um, then I just uh, looked at a little bit of news on Reddit, um, checked some cryptocurrency news outlets that I have, and then I'm about to um, <clears throat> settle down to respond to a couple emails and set up my filming day for today, and yeah, see where that takes me. All right, so I have about 10 more minutes until um, my hair will be dry-ish so that I can actually start setting up the, the interviews that I wanna do today. The first set of filming is gonna have to do with my documentary <clears throat> um, about caregiving and I have this big setup on my wall of index cards with themes and things I want to um, bring into the documentary. And so I'm just kind of, this is a first pass, a first attempt at kind of the narration that I see behind all the videos and the photos and the stuff that happened um, during. This is like the reflective voice that will be there throughout the documentary, uh, whether that's visually seeing me talking, or if it's more of just like a voice that is just audio um, that's behind different visuals. I think it's important to have that thread throughout a story. And so that's what I'm trying to create right now. And then after I've done that, I will be, I also have some like promotional text that I've already set up. I've read and various Patreon videos, but haven't really shared with you here, but basically like, you know, when, when you see the documentary, what's the small little excerpt that you're gonna see? Um, who are the characters? Why do they matter? This kind of stuff. So that's all been fleshed out, but I'm gonna be also recording some of those to have just as background, likely for a very short trailer. Yeah, that feels important. And then I'm going to if all things uh, stay on track, I will be doing this, which is my Nature Connection course. I will be filming a all the various videos that I need to have um, for this course. And this is a six-week Nature Connection course. I've talked about it a lot. I've prepped for it. And basically, I'm just, I've been stuck at this point of... You know, I just have to go out and film it and I just haven't done it. So we will see what happens because I do want to film it outside. It is a little cold, I know. So 
I guess that might not happen. I will be doing my best to put this all together. Um, and then I have a couple calls that I need to, to make as well as some other work that I have later today. And when I say other work, I've been working for a few companies with their uh, Instagram marketing and their website, as well as Facebook marketing. And so I get paid to do that work and it's awesome and rewarding and I'm grateful I can do that too, along with all these other projects that I've been doing. So I'm gonna get to a little bit more work on my computer and then I will be setting up my interview place. change of plans I ended up I'm going to be going and doing the uh, nature connection content today instead of not today just right now instead of doing my documentary stuff So I'm out here filming on my other camera um, the various videos that I will be using for the the course and so far I haven't haven't really film I've only filmed two and I'm realizing that a lot of them are pretty long so I'm trying to figure out how to make them shorter not because of filming but for the purpose of people consuming the content and using what I have to say. Crossing off all these things off my list, I think I've accomplished 15 of the uh, 42 things I need to do. Let's see, let me try that again. One, two, three, four, five, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, 18, even better. And I'm gonna film at least two more, so I'll be at 20. Maybe I'll film three more. I'll be halfway there. And then I'm going to um, head back home to have a little food. And then I will likely pop back outside in our backyard and I will hopefully film the rest of these. So the Nature Connection course is done. back. It is 1.45. I accomplished 22 of the 42. All right, so that didn't last very long. The gifts of having to come back here. I, uh, I lost my paper, the paper I've been working from, where I've been counting things on and filming and keeping track of which videos where, and I Oh, I'm so glad it's still here. It's exactly where the only place I thought it could have fallen out, I think. Is that mine? Yes. My people. Thank goodness, because I got, I pulled in the driveway and I'm like, oh no, something's not here. Where'd I drop it? But I guess there's some reason I was meant to come back here. And I'm grateful that I have the piece of paper still. I found it.
So I think I'm done today. I'm, uh, I think I filmed another maybe five or six, maybe even seven. My butt got totally dirty. Oh my gosh. Um, but I think I just don't have any more in me. Hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow. Um, and now I'm going to take a little break and then sit up for my caregiving interview. So I have 12, nope, I've got 14 more of these to do. I must obviously process them all, edit them all, put them in the right folders, and then decide what I'm going to do with it. So that's going to happen more later. I am feeling like maybe I'm not going to get the... No, I am. I need to. I need to film at least some of the caregiving documentary. Just feeling a little bit wiped of talking, I guess. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't want to talk. By the way, this is all very strange still. It's all very strange and new as I've been taking care of my grandfather for the last three years and traveling. So having this space at home is not something I'm used to. To be able to plan my day like this is not something I've had in a long time. Or I felt the freedom. Not that I couldn't have figured out a way to have that time in my life, and I may have, but it's feeling the time because energetically I was so, I feel like, attached to the process of my grandfather's. Um, caregiving and his dying process and so it's just been very challenging but I'm ready I'm, I'm ready for the new challenges that are ahead of me so I painted this one wall in my parents house um, and this is kind of my filming wall and I have my camera set up right there and uh, yeah I'm about to film some stuff for my documentary, which is exciting. And I think I might need to do it in two locations, kind of like earlier today. I'm not gonna get to all of it, but we will wait and see what comes out of my mouth, I guess. <laughs> Hi, so I forgot to finish my video last night. This is just cause I'm just starting to make these types of videos again and I don't really, it's not uh, a top priority yet, but I did film a good, good amount yesterday and I will be editing it and putting it together. So it does feel good. And last night I played some games with my family and had dinner and then, yeah, I got on two different phone calls with a couple people, and then I basically went to bed. I was probably in bed by 9.30, probably asleep by 10.30. Um, I've really been trying to go to bed earlier to give my body time to adjust, because for so many years not having the proper amount of sleep, I feel like my body is still adjusting and I know apparently it doesn't work that way, but I tend to think that perhaps I'm catching up on sleep I didn't have for so long and um, my body just needs it to function and heal and move forward. So I've been prioritizing sleep for sure. Um, and <clears throat> I guess that's all I'm going to say. I'll be making more videos. Let me know if there's a topic you want me to make a video on. And I will talk to you super soon.